Blood of the Ten, Aloy. Regala denied. The truth of the visions revealed. I doubt you have enough skin to mark all your deeds. We'll just have to remember them, then. <laughs> well, thanks to you, the Chief still lives. And hope remains. But that's not why I wanted to speak with you. I need a favor. A personal one. My grandson, Kavo. He was not counted among the dead. Which means he must still be with Regala's remaining forces. He was taken prisoner? No. He joined them willingly. Like many young soldiers who seek to mark their skin with distinguished deeds. I must search for him. Convince him to come home. Chief Hikaru cannot spare any soldiers for this task, so my blade is alone in this. Unless you'd be willing to join me. I know it is much to ask after all you've done for us. But Kavo is the last of my blood. I'll help you find your grandson, if I can. Where do we start? A while back, our scouts reported Kavo's squad left one of Regala's outposts in the hills to the south. His squad never returned, but the scouts also spotted one of our own being held captive there. So we'll start at the outpost. If we free the prisoner, maybe they'll know where Kavo's squad went. Shall we head out? Let's go. Good. This way. The outpost isn't far. Take my hand, Nikala. Steady now. Where am I? Chaplain? Is that you? And with an outlander? Whoa. How'd you end up down there? Rebels had me strung up. They thought I'd give up intel about lowland squad movements by letting me bake in the sun. Managed to slip my bonds and make a run for it. They made me pay for that. Last thing I remember was a crack on the head and the taste of dirt. How'd you end up here? We're looking for Kavo. His squad was last spotted leaving this outpost. Yeah, he was here. It was his squad that attacked us on the road. My comrades got away, but I was taken. Kavo tied me to the post himself. If you're looking for him, Chaplain, I'm afraid you'll only find a dead end. His loyalties are clear. Do you know where his squad went? I overheard them mention Fall's Edge. Then we'll... we'll pick the search up from there. I'll go ahead and meet you at Fall's Edge, southwest of here. Deca, if Cavo attacked her squad... No! He's not lost to us yet. We have to find him and turn him from this path. <sighs> okay. I'll see you there. What about you? That wound needs to be looked at. It'll scar. I just need to rest a bit, then I'll report into the grove. I'm telling you, Bloodhair. The chaplain might not want to hear it, but her grandson is a traitor. I guess we'll see about that. Decca, what's going on? Aloy, I'm glad you're here. This is Oroke, leader of Fall's Edge. So you've enlisted the chief's champion in your dull-bladed efforts. You must be Cavo, then. My grandson. And a soldier trying to right his mistakes. Or trying to lure us into a trap. My scouts caught him, sneaking around on the outskirts of the village. I wasn't sneaking around. I was coming to warn you. The rebels are planning an attack. They're going to send a machine straight through this village. I left my post when I realized what they were planning. You have to believe me. Where are the rebels now? They were hunting for the machine north of here. I, I can show you the way. The only thing you'll do is face trial by combat. You betrayed your clan. Your chief. Blood and blades will decide your fate. I'll fight whoever you want after we stop the attack. If Kavo is telling the truth, this whole village is in danger. We have to find and stop these rebels. The rebels built a campfire north of the river, near the cliffs. I can show you the way from there. Okay. Open it up, or okay? No. I won't give him the chance to escape. The traitor stays here until his trial by combat. 
Then I invoke blood for blood. I will take Kavos' place until he returns. You're making a mistake, Chaplain. The clan needs your guidance, not the lies of this bare-armed boy. The right has been called. Kavo will go with Aloy. Then I'm going to. If the boy speaks truth, you'll need my blade. If he lies, I'll run him through. I must make arrangements here first. Then I'll bring the boy to the meeting place. Fine. I'll see you there. I found a few of your friends when I got here, Cavo. You're not off to a great start. They must have been out on patrol. I swear on the ten, I didn't know they'd be here. What did I tell you? His lies are an open sore. Better we cauterize it now than let it fester. No! I'm telling the truth! Untie him. As you say. But this is a mistake. And my weapon? If you think... Just give it to him, or okay? We need to get moving. Lead the way. Cavo, you're bleeding. I'll be fine. What matters is the attack was stopped. Because of your warning, you saved many lives today. Come on, let's get you back to Falls Edge. I guess I cracked some ribs, too. Go on ahead. I'll see him back to the village. Okay. I'll let Decca know what happened. Three leave, only you return? What happened? Cavo was telling the truth. The rebels had a behemoth. Kava was injured in the battle, but we stopped the attack. Aroke... Regrets that he doubted the boy. Your grandson proved himself to be honest and brave, Chaplain. He's loyal to the Lowland. So you'll release him? Well, he's earned his freedom. But it'll take many more deeds to earn back the rest of the clan's trust. I'll do whatever it takes. Thank you, Aloy. Indeed. Falls Edge owes you a great debt. May this begin to repay it. Thank you. As soon as you're healed, I have so much to show you. Welcome back, Cavo. <laughs> 